Hi, my dear students. This is the last lesson of Unit uh, 10, uh, and this is Lesson 5. In uh, Lesson 5, we are going to know about phonics, okay, the interesting part of any unit, and we are going to know extra information about magnetism. Okay. In the first uh, slide here, you can see the phonics. Our phonics today is quite interesting because I think we had it um, uh, a lot of times. Uh, this is about J sound, J sound. Of course, you know the G letter, G letter. It has two sounds, G and J. The G sound, like goat, like gur, like grapes, like gate okay but the j sound is an in another words you can see here some three pictures the first three pictures in your page uh, this is 98 i think you can open your book and see in front of you three pictures with change change as you see the g followed by e and energy energy here the g followed by y the third picture is bandage bandage okay so can you see the g followed by e also but it's preceded by a so a g a e is age always you see this uh, uh, a group of letters together a g e so it's age so it's bandage so whenever you see E after G, it's pronounced J, okay? So again, change. As you see the picture of arrows, they are going, uh, all of them, in the same direction, but the yellow arrow going in another, where it changed its direction, change. In the next one, you can see three ch children uh, are playing and uh, full of energy they are uh, very active and this is energy they are full of energy energy okay and in the third picture you can see um, a hand injured so they have to wrap it with bandage bandage to listen and say listen and say of course listen carefully village village this is a, a very small city it's not a, a big one it doesn't have a lot of crowd and they are uh, there are a lot of farmers inside it so village of course you can see a g e again j so you can hear a little bit d in the sound j j okay danger danger the next one danger this is a, a dangerous sign when it, there's something you have to not uh, you don't have to go uh, near it or you must keep away from it so uh, it says danger so the, uh, the third picture for a giraffe this animal this cute animal is a giraffe giraffe and here you can see the G followed by I okay someone is asking me so in girl in the word girl the G followed by I this is an exception okay girl followed uh, the G followed by I but we pronounce it as G but here it's giraffe it's always like that okay next slide here again we are going to talk about magnets why uh, in the very beginning of the unit we talked about the magnet and why we use uh, a magnetic needle in a compass because the magnet shows to the uh, show the direction of north okay but um, what else we can use a magnet in here we have a lot of things uses of magnets magnets are useful at home and at school magnets are useful at home and at school we can stick photos to magnetic surface or use magnets to keep doors closed but they are important in lots of other ways too okay so you use magnets in your home as on the uh, on the fridge you can put uh, uh, stickers magnetic stickers on the fridge right okay but also we have other uses for the magnets 
Uh, first one here, you can see medicine in hospitals. In hospitals, what do we use? Uh, uh, how do we use magnets in hospitals? There is something called MRI, MRI scan. This is a magnetic, re resonic imagining. Okay, so again, MRI scan. They are a magnetic, resonic imagining. Uses a magnetic field to make pictures or uh, of its changes inside our bodies. So. It makes a very, very detailed picture of your body from inside. This, uh, this is a, like an X-ray, but it's not an X-ray. It's a detailed X-ray, okay? And if you look to the picture, you will see the device making this MRI uh, scan. An X-ray can take pictures of our uh, bones, but an MRI scan can give doctors more information that scans are very useful and uh, and save money uh, save many lives so so mri using a big big magnet inside it so it's very important in hospital using a magnet is very important in hospital in hospitals okay how can we use magnets in farming okay this is it is away from our thinking but they can use magnets in farming too we know that cows eat grass you know that cows like you see in the picture they eat grass but sometimes they can eat bites of metal that are on the ground in fields such as nails or bites of wire Farm, uh, farmers give cows a magnet to swallow can you imagine that the farmers give the cows um, a small magnet to swallow and when they swallow the magnet of course you know that the magnet attracts the metals right so that's the little magnet inside the stomach of the uh, of the cow attracts the metals and never hurt the uh, cow anymore so farmers give cows a magnet to swallow the magnet stays inside the cow's stomach and attracts all the metal and stop the metal uh, from damaging the cow's uh, digestive system okay so they use the magnet for the cows to swallow and to attract the metal inside their bodies okay uh, uh, factorizes or factories in the factories they use magnets too how they use magnets in the big factories okay big magnets can sort out ma materials for recycling or even move old cars so the big magnets they can carry the old cars with it because they cannot carry the uh, the cars by themselves okay it needs a lot of power it needs a lot of strength so they use a big magnet to hold it, uh, or to carry the big cars from one place to another or to sort out the, mat the magnetic materials because there there are some magnetic materials and some are non-magnetic materials okay in the next slide there is extra information uh, about the magnet uses okay we use it also in computers magnets are used to store information in computers magnets are used to store uh, information in computers the magnetic areas used for the uh, for this are very narrow then uh, they are narrower even than a, a human hair okay you cannot see it of course also we can use uh, uh, magnets in transportation some of the most modern train systems use uh, magnets the train is uh, um, is lifted off the ground is lifted off the ground by a magnet okay and uh, so it has less friction the magnet keeps it in the right place and the train can travel very quickly okay so it's looks like a flying train or something but it's uh, at attracted to a magnetic field up okay look and write using an mri scan in hospitals can save lives can save lives and lives is the uh, um, uh, plural word for life lives and the singular is life Number two, cows can swallow 
can swallow. Swallow means you put something in your mouth and swallow it into your stomach. Swallow magnets to protect their digestive system. Of course, they, uh, they don't do this by themselves. The farmers give them the magnet to swallow it. Uh, number three, big magnets can move metal and old cars in, fr in factories. Again, big magnets can move metal and old cars in the factories. Four, computers use magnets to store information. Computers use magnets to store information. And as I told you, the, magnet field, the magnetic field in this uh, computers uh, are very very small and you cannot even see it okay uh, trains that use magnets can travel more quickly because they have less friction okay again trains that use magnets can travel more quickly because they have less friction on earth okay this is the last uh, uh, slide in this uh, lesson I hope you understood it study well because it needs a lot of concentration thank you and goodbye